Hi, Rooted. Hey, guys. How you doing? We miss you. We miss seeing your faces. Um, have you guys ever played or heard of the game of jacks? We have a little set of jacks here. And the game consists of two balls and then jacks here. And so what you do in the game is you scatter the jacks on the floor or a table. And so they're all scattered on the ground. And then you drop a ball and you drop a ball on the floor of the table and you try to grab one of the jacks before the ball hits the ground again. And you keep doing that until all of the jacks have been picked up. So if you guys wanna play that game, I'm not sure if you have it at home, this is kind of an old school game. But in our game, the jacks could do nothing to be picked up. That was your hand picking up the jacks. They couldn't do anything to be picked up. And in our Bible story today, we're gonna to hear about the one way that we can be saved by Jesus and that we can do nothing to earn our salvation. So Roy's gonna share the story. It comes from the book of John, which is in one of the gospels. And so Roy's gonna share that. Yeah, so we're in John chapter three. And uh, this is the story where Nicodemus, who not only was a Pharisee, but also a Sadducee, and uh, which is the Sadducees were like a governmental body um, for the Jewish community. And so he came at night to come and talk to Jesus. And what's cool is that he, um, now he says we when he's talking about the Pharisees, but he agrees that Jesus has come from God. And he recognizes that based upon all of the uh, things that Jesus has been doing, uh, the miracles, uh, the way that he actually teaches. And so Nicodemus, as all Pharisees, believe that if they just followed the law, then they would get to heaven. And Jesus just flips his whole world upside down mm -hmm. and says, that's not it. It's through me. And he, his whole thing was that you have to be born again. And that just blew Nicodemus' mind. He had no concept of what that meant. And so he explained to him um, that you have to be reborn. And the reborn is through um, the Spirit. And then at this point, uh, this is the famous verse in John 3, 16, where Jesus says, uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And he's talking about himself, about how he's the Messiah and how he's going to be able uh, to be the ultimate forgiveness of sin to be able to redeem uh, individuals. And so that's the basis of our story. So I do encourage everyone uh, to read it. Again, it's in John chapter three. Um, and you, parents can go through it with your kids. So we have a new big picture question and a new big picture answer and a new memory verse. The big picture question is, who did Jesus say he is? The answer is Jesus said he is the Messiah, just like Roy talked about, John 3, 16. He had come to save our sins. So our memory verse comes from John 14, 6, and I want you to listen because there are several names that we can pick out of the verse that, that are used for God. There are four that Jesus calls himself, and there's one that he calls God the Father. So listen, John 14, 6 says Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So did you guys hear them? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. So you hear I am the way, the truth, the life, and Father. So memorize that with your families. So Roy is going to share how the story points right to Christ again about himself. So again, we're utilizing the big picture interactive Bible that we talk about from Lifeway. And at the end of each of the stories, there's always a Christ connection. So I'll read that to you guys now. Without Jesus, we are spiritually dead. Sin separates us from God. And when God graciously gives people the Holy Spirit, they are born again. They receive new life and become God's children. Jesus offers new life to those who trust in him for salvation. So it's really a neat thing that salvation is free. There's nothing that you can do to earn it. No great work or good thing that you can do. It's free to all who believe. So we love you. We're praying for you and we miss you. Bye guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Take care.